Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Team Building Tips with Dan Talbot. We'll be right back with Dan, but first, let's recognize our podcast partners, We Coach and the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. These are two great organizations you really need to be a part of, We Coach and the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. Now, let's hear from our sponsors. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Sideline Interactive for their support. Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards not only generate income for your department, but also create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and schedule a live web demo to see their tables and boards in action. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com and see exactly what their fantastic products can do for you. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. We also want to say thanks to Final Forms, the industry leader in registration. But Final Forms is more than that. Final Forms can help your stakeholders with things like mobile accessibility. And they've got reminders for parents about policies, about physicals, and all the forms that come when you have an athlete in the house. Final Forms can also help your coaches with things like attendance and communication. And for athletic directors, Final Forms can help you with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. You know, it's time that you talk with a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps, go to finalforms.com forward slash Jake. That's finalforms.com forward slash Jake to get started with Final Forms. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com. They're going to show you how to set up and sell your tickets online. Also, how to scan the attendees that come to your games and collect your revenue. And every step of the way, you'll have a dedicated client success manager providing hands-on support. Go to hometownticketing.com. They'll also show you how to set up and sell tickets for things like uh, school plays, concerts, uh, dances, even graduation. That's hometownticketing.com. Simple and easy online ticketing. We also want to say thanks to Huddle. Go to Huddle.com. Huddle is how the world sees sports. Over 200,000 teams use Huddle to help their teams play better using video and analytics. As a high school football coach, I used Huddle for years. But as an athletic director, our school was a Huddle school. And our coaches just love the mobile apps, the um, easy to set up cameras in the gym and the fields. Uh, of course, they love the analytics, but there's so much more. Huddle is uh, built for every level of play. Club, youth, high school, even college and pro teams are using Huddle to help their athletes play better. Go to Huddle.com and find professional-grade analysis for your programs. At Huddle, we believe in sports and teams believe in Huddle. Go to Huddle.com to get started today. We also want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack also connects you to the 95% of the parents and the student athletes who really love your program, and it gives them an opportunity to share the importance that a positive athletic experience has for them. Go to athleticsurveys.com or email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Go to athleticsurveys.com and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. We also want to say thanks to Snap Raise. Go to snapraise.com or you can go to onsnap.com and check out their platform. From a fundraising standpoint, SnapRaise is the best. Uh, get away from the fundraising headaches of the past. There's no selling. There's no inventory. And what's more important, it works. Our coaches use SnapRaise, and it was just fantastic. And choosing the best fundraiser for you and your group is critical. Go to SnapRaise.com and check out the SnapRaise digital difference. You can also check out the thousands and thousands of dollars that they've helped schools just like yours raise using snap raise grow your program go to snapraise.com for more information 
We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Go to Gipper.com and see how athletic directors are creating world-class marketing content for their school social media channels. You can do it in seconds on any device, and you don't need any design experience. Go to Gipper.com. Tell them you heard about it on the podcast and use the podcast code ADPOD10 and get 10% off. That's Gipper.com. Create custom branded content for your school social media channel. Gipper.com. And we also want to thank Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They've got a variety of interactive touchscreen consoles and an entire library of templates to help recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. Let them help you showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments. Also, if you're looking for a really cool way to display your school record boards or your Hall of Fame, you need to get in touch with the folks at Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. Their website, vitalsignswalloffame.com, or email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com to get started. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Team Building Tips with Dan Talbot. Every Thursday, uh, Dan Talbot, Certified Master Athletic Administrator and the Senior Athletic Director for the Polk County School System here in Florida, shares his wisdom with us on a variety of topics. So, Dan, it's episode number 22. What do you have for our listeners this week? Well, it's kind of relevant to what's going on in Florida right now. As many of you know that, um, you know, Hurricane Ian um, really um, did a lot of destruction through a lot of Florida, really. It was one of those big storms that, you know, not only affected landfall right in the Fort Myers area, but pretty much all of central Florida. I mean, it, it swooped across and obviously did destruction in Fort Myers area, but we had a lot of damage in our area as well. And then even counties east of us had tremendous amount of flooding and you know the tip is is to reach out and you know and check on those athletic directors because our jobs are already stressful um they're already demanding as it is and um just reaching out to those athletic directors in that area and those county athletic directors and my counterparts in, in those counties you know a simple text and a phone call letting them know you're thinking about them um, was a tremendous, you know, uplifting to them to know that, you know, they're not alone. And, and I thought, and it was interesting because the big hurricane that hit the panhandle years ago, Mexico beach, the one that destroyed Mexico beach, you know, it wasn't in our area. And that's, that's just a problem with hurricanes. It's like, you don't want it to come towards you, but it's, it's going towards somewhere else and, and people are going to be affected. And, so this year or last year, I drove up to uh, Mexico Beach uh, for the state weightlifting tournament. And I saw the hurricane. I saw all the footage. And this is, what, four years later that um, I went up there and you could still see the destruction. And an enormous guilt came over me because <clears throat> I didn't do anything because it wasn't affecting my area. Um, things were normal here. Things were fine. We just, it was business as usual for us. And I told myself, you know, if that ever happens again, you know, we got to step up and do something for those communities. And then obviously with Ian doing the destruction that we did, um, I made it a point to call every athletic director I knew. Um, I drove into Ground Zero and brought uh, one of my good buddies uh, that came from Texas with me, you know, some gas a generator, you know, trying to make his life easy because, you know, when he's, things are easy at home for him, he can focus on getting the school back up. Uh, we've offered to our surrounding counties that were affected that if they need any of our facilities, if they need any equipment, anything that they need to help them get back up and running that we're going to provide. Because um, I think it's important for kids to get back to normalcy, um, try to get in their rhythm because, you know, yes, okay, so I had a tree fall on my house, but how important is that when, you know, schools lost stadiums? I mean, there's one school in, in on the West Coast that their stadium's gone. No bleachers, no press box, no scoreboard, 
no goalposts, just it vanished in the middle of the night during landfall of the hurricane. And we tend to think about ourselves a little too much. And uh, if you know someone in South Florida, reach out to them and ask them if there's anything they need. Well, I mean, it, you know, we have one school used in our stadium and I'm going to go, I'm going to go open it and they're going to take all the money for the gate. They're going to do all that good stuff that they need to uh, try to get back to some normalcy and, and anything we can do to help out. But we all know athletic directors and not just, it's not just hurricanes, it's earthquakes, uh, it's fires, it's things, but I encourage you to be humble <clears throat> and reach out because it is a, it is a very tough time in Florida right now. Um, you see a lot of things on the news about the destruction and, and trust me, when I drove to Mexico beach last year, you know, you see it on TV, but words can't describe once you see it in person, it's, it's devastating. So obviously my thoughts and prayers are to everyone in Florida that were affected by uh, hurricane Ian, but I think it's important as the community and how strong the athletic directors community is, uh, even though our schools compete against each other. Uh, and we want the best athletic program, but I love the athletic director community because we all got the same problems. And when someone has a different problem than ours, then we all chip in to help and step up and, and uh, create an environment so they can get back to some normalcy and ease, you know, ease that stress. Because like I said, we have a very stressful job. Unfortunately, if you ask anyone in your school building, um, you just roll out the balls and you turn the lights on at 7.30 and two teams show up and you have a game or a soccer match or a baseball game, whatever it may be, they don't understand all the details that go behind it. Um, but my heart reaches out to everyone in Florida. Uh, Polk County's here to help. Anything they need, we'll, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, and, and again, I'm so glad that you guys are okay down there in, um, uh, in, in Lakeland. Um, you know, we – as you know, you know, we were down in uh, Venice for a couple of years after I retired and, uh, you know, we moved in March uh, uh, into Lake County. Uh, so we really didn't get hit. Um, but our previous community, um, you know, just looking at the Google Maps now that are up uh, through a couple of the uh, information units, uh, just just awful. And, and during that uh, last week when that was hitting, I was texting and calling you know, people in that area that, uh, that I knew to make sure that they were okay. Uh, and you bring up Michael. Uh, I was still up in the panhandle then. And uh, we had a number of schools that, um, you know, I think we reached out to them and they even reached out to us and just simple things like uh, giving them a hundred baseballs uh, or, you know, old uniforms that they could you know, have practice or, or, or games in, you know, it's so easy to give them because the devastation that you alluded to it was it was total and uh you know our school up in the panhandle mcclay we were missed uh by maybe maybe 30 miles of of that impact zone that that went through mexico beach and those schools so yeah absolutely and we've talked about it before about the athletic director community you know it, it's what we do we solve problems we help each other out we give away secrets you know uh uh, absolutely. There's somebody uh, on the other end of that phone that can help you out. Yeah, um, we, you know, we ahead. can't get lost in that. We can't get lost in that out of sight, out of mind, you know, kind of mentality. Um, there's athletic directors that need help and there's athletic directors that are struggling um, not only to, you know, get their schools up and running or, or if they're going back to school, where they're going to practice. And um, I, I worked it out with a company here that, you know, I'm going to help deliver some meals and some cold drinks to schools down in um, DeSoto County um, after one of their practices to make sure the kids have a hot meal and a cold drink because, you know, every kid's different, every situation's different. And I just think, you know, when someone in our profession needs help, not only, you know, with the physical aspects, like you said, practice pants or baseballs, you know, but just calling a check on them just for that mental, you know, kind of relief to let, let them talk and get it out and, and kind of work through the issue because it's, you know, when the devastation first hits, you're kind of like, what am I going to do now? And so it's just one of those interesting, you know, pieces of our jobs that, that expands. And we've talked about other duties assigned, but, you know, we have to take care of each other because we know what each other goes through on a daily basis. 
Yeah, uh, and you, you lead me into my next uh, uh, talking point here. If you're listening to this, and, and maybe you're in California or Ohio or wherever you're at, and, and you want to help out, uh, because as Dan said, you know, people can really use that help, that boost. Uh, Dan will give out his cell phone as usual, but go to go on Twitter, go to the FIAAA Twitter account, uh, and just you know leave your information, and uh, we'll get back to you and let you know the uh, this school could use this or this school could use that. I think that's probably the best way, and, and not to have Dan's cell phone blow up too bad. But uh, Dan, as always, if one of our listeners wants to reach out and pick your brain a little bit, what's the best way they can get hold of you? Uh, best way to get a hold of me, I think the only time I'm in my office is when I'm with you, Jake. Uh, usually I'm out and about, but my cell phone number is 863-661-0647. 863-661-0647. Send me a call or, or a text and would love to uh, communicate, would love to uh hear where you're from and ideas that you have because the one thing I love about being an athletic director and if you want to be a good athletic director is you never stop learning so I hope to learn from you as and hopefully you're learning something from me I don't know what but hopefully you picked up something but I would love to learn from other athletic directors too okay absolutely and uh, listeners you've got a great resource in Dan and uh, also if you want to help out uh, if you're feeling called to do that Get in touch with Dan or go to the uh, go to Twitter and uh, send a message to the FI AAA Twitter account. We will get back to you. Um, thanks, as always, Dan, for uh, sharing. Glad you uh, you guys are OK down there. And uh, we'll see you next week um, for our listeners. Remember, uh, the Zoom recordings of all of our interviews get uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next time on Team Building Tips with Dan Talbot. Once again, we want to thank you for listening to Team Building Tips. Uh, we also want to thank our sponsors, uh, Final Forms, uh, Snap, Raise, Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack, Hometown Ticketing, Huddle, Final Forms, uh, Sideline Interactive, Gipper, and Vital Signs Wall of Fame. Also want to say thanks to our partners, we coach in the global community of women in high school sports. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time on team building tips on the educational AD podcast.